Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to see how to continue our pause menu. So make all the functionality on the pause menu work. So as you can see here, nothing is working for now. So we're going to set up this. So let's go to our pause menu itself. In the designer tab, we had this. So just to save a little bit of time on that, because it's very, very straightforward. Uh, we're going to go to the graph tab here. And what we're going to need, it's taking the button here and assign a little bit of code here. So you see the code is all done. It's all the same thing almost. So I'm going to go through it with you. So on the designer tab here, when you press and uh, when you have your play button selected, you go all the way down here. And when you click here, it's going to create this node for us. And the only thing that you have to do here, it's drag from it, set game pause to not true remove this current rigid from our screen and make sure that we remove the mouse cursor so when we press play on our widget when we're the game is paused it's going to unpause this game the game it's going to remove that widget from our screen and it's going to make sure that it's removing our mouse as well so same thing apply for the controls here so we're going to go all the way down Press on click, it's going to create this node for us. And same again, we're going to remove from parents. We want to remove this widget from parents. We want to create the widget blueprint that where uh, all our controls going to be. So we create our widget and we add it to the viewport. So once again, we're going to go to option here, all the way down, press on click. And it's going to be exactly the same code when we click there. It's going to remove that pause menu from our screen. It's going to create the option menu for us. And it's going to display it to our screen. And the last one would be main menu. So same thing again. Go all the way down. Unclick. And unclick here. We're just going to search for open level by name. And the name I'm already put, I don't have that level yet. However, uh, it's going to be main menu. So it's going to be the first screen that you see when you load the game. It's going to be this. So I'm going to call that main menu later down the road. So, but for now, you can put this and it's all good. So now the only thing we have to do is creating those widget blueprint, right? And you can see here I have my widget blueprint control and have my widget blueprint options. We just have to create this. So in our content browser here under the widget folder, we need to create another widget. So we're going to right click user interface and widget blueprint and you're going to select a widget here. So when you have this, you're going to name the first one control. So WB underscore control and we're going to open it. And here, as you see in the bottom corner, I only have a back key. So to add the key, you're just going to search here and going to search for a button. Uh, I always reverse it. So button, you're going to put your button here. You're going to make sure that it's anchored to the left corner. When it's, in, when it's anchored to the left corner, you will be able to remove the position X and the Y to zero and it's going to be right there so now you just have to drag it where you want so i'm going to drag it around here for an example and now you all set make sure that on your button itself that it's size to content so if you want the text to make sure it's pushing the edge of your button correctly and the only thing you have to do now it's taking a text and drag it over your button like this and make sure that it's size to context, as I said, and it's gonna do this. So now you take your text, you put back in it. Not knack, but back. Let's go, so we're gonna put back, and we're gonna make sure that we rename this here, so we're gonna call that back BTN. It's not working because I already have one, but it's how you do this. For the color itself, what I did, I just went to my pause menu here in the designer tab and I copy the background here, just right click and copy. 
and you can go back to your control go there and the background color under appearance you can put the same color so when we have that what we're going to do now make sure that our button is selected we're going to go all the way down click on view and here it's pretty much the same that we just did so we're going to remove this uh, widget so the widget control from our screen we're going to create a widget blueprint which is going to be the pause menu itself and we're going to add that to the viewport and if we go back so now it's going to add this to the viewport when we click back on it now we also need one for the option as you can see here i already have one place for the option well same thing apply we go to a content browser and you can duplicate the widget control that you have here just duplicate that and name this wp uh, wb underscore options so you're going to have exactly the same setting as this one and if you open it it's exactly placed at the same same location so both of them if i open there you can see they're exactly at the same location so from that from the pause menu you go back there and you make sure that you put the class that you need so the wb options and if you go to your first person map and you do play now if you press p it's going to open the menu for us and if you press control you see it's opening your control widget and you press back and it's going back to your pause menu same thing when you press option and you go back it's going back to your option if you click here obviously it's doing an error uh, because we don't have the map so we're just going to click escape so now you have it uh, option menu and a control menu that is working with uh, the pause menu itself so now we have to work on those two to put some things in it right so i'll do another video just for the whoops for the control itself and um, i'll do another video just for the option because this one will take a long time because there's a lot of things to do in this one but this one should be a straightforward so how um, how long i have so now i'm seven minutes so i think we have time to do control so let's let's do the control now it's gonna take a few minutes so we already have our canvas panel so the only thing we need here is how we want to display our text right uh you know you can do a vertical box and putting everything in the vertical box or you can do a horizontal box and putting everything in the horizontal box um so i will do a vertical box so let's take a vertical box put it here for an example and i'm going to do a text i'm going to make sure i drag the text over the vertical box and that my vertical box is size to content so now I have the text here for an example um, let me see how we can do that just to make that very very easy so for an example I'm gonna call that forward so I have my forward text and I can duplicate that text now it's gonna go under and I'm gonna put backward and I'm gonna duplicate that text. So I'm gonna do that a couple of times. You can do control D if you want, so it's a little bit faster. So I have back here, so this one will be for example left, right, uh, jump. I'm gonna zoom a little bit reload fire aim or slow time and I'm gonna have a flashlight on our weapon later so flashlight and everything else that you're thinking about right now so we can always modify that later so we have our vertical box so it's going to display whoops it's going to display that vertical box for us so 
you can move that vertical box wherever you want. So I'm going to put anchor that to the middle. And I'm going to put 0 and 0. And the vertical box, I'm going to make sure that I align that in the middle. That way. So now it's aligned in the middle. So the only thing I have to do now is just moving that a little bit that way. So the position on, so I can just drag it if I want to. I'm going to drag it around here. I'm going to make sure that the position here is still zero. And the vertical box here, I'm going to put for minus 160. There you go. Now I can basically take that vertical box and I can duplicate this vertical box. So I have another box like next to it. So now I just have to put the key that I want. You know, I mean, it's it, it's basic, but it's it, it's gonna work. So let's do that now. There we go. So now we have it. So we're just going to move that a little bit here. So I'm going to move that 10. No, not this one. This one here. I'm going to move it a little bit. I'm going to put 50. There we go. So now if you compile and go back to the map here, let's try it out. Press P, Control. Now it's displayed on the screen for us. That's perfect. And we can go back. Lovely. The only thing I don't like is that it's hard to read. So on the uh, control itself, what you can do, we can always add um, a background blur. So let's add that background blur. We're going to add this to the canvas panel itself. And we're going to make sure that it's take the entire canvas panel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to anchor that to full screen. There we go. Now this take the entire screen for us. And now you can put the first of uh, the first the strength of the blur. So I'm gonna put five. And is it working? Yes, perfect. So I'm gonna compile it and play and try it out. Let's press P, go to control, and now we have no blur. So let's uh, go here and make sure that we take our box here and it's taking the entire there we go we can see now we're just going to place it let's take the entire screen however we want our text to show above this so our blur we can just put minus one and now our text is going to show so the z order it's basically what you want to to show first or last so if you go minus it's going to be the last thing and if you go plus it's going to be the first thing that you see so you can do that that way and now if we press compile and play and we do p and control so now you can see you have a blur effect here and you have all the contrast so it's a little bit easier to to read so you can play with those number and you can put that darker if you want so we can put 10 so it's going to be way darker and you can put like a big number if you want to. You could also put an image under if you want and just put a black image. You know, it's it, it's up to, to you what you want to do. Um, there you go. So you can do that too if you want to. Uh, it's up to you. You decide that if you want an image or a blur. So image will be the exact same thing. You put your image, make it to full screen here. And make sure that you drag it to take your full screen and make sure that your z order will be under and you'll be all set so i'm going to go back to 10 here because i like the number and it should work perfectly for us there we go like this i think it's fine so we can read our text or control obviously we need to do some control that when you click you can change your control by yourself and assign the key that you want but we're probably going to do that another time. 
So for now, it's going to be done for this. It's just very uh, basic to show you how that how we do this. And the next video will be the option menu. Okay, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.